What's up guys, Blitz here today bringing you an extremely important video. I am not even joking. This video will forever change the way that Final Fantasy VII The First Soldier is played and completely improve all the aiming and consistencies with getting eliminations. But also, I just want to say I'm excited to get more First Soldier videos out for you guys. We're going to be putting out lots of content from the match highlights on streams and guides consistently out like this one. Be sure to check out the Day 1 highlights video already posted on the channel. Now with all that being said, let's get into this video. Final Fantasy VII The First Soldier is a battle royale on mobile, yes, but you can connect a controller wirelessly through Bluetooth, as I demonstrated in this video on the top right. But even on controller, the aiming movement and aim assist always felt very off and was very easy to whiff tons of shots. I mean, you guys saw those day one streams and the sniping was just, sheesh. Typically on console games, aim assist exists to help with keeping the reticle on targets to help with thumb support since you are only using two fingers to do all the motions. This has existed since the early days of gaming and has been around for quite some time. If you're playing shooters on console, you typically want to keep aim assist on in order to remain competitive with the other users. But that's not to say people have not been able to find success without it, of course. What if I told you in Final Fantasy VII The First Soldier, there exist two forms of aim assist? Like in the settings, there is a straight up aim assist option we already know about, which is traditional aim assist from console games. But there is another which changes up the way this game plays entirely. Now, remember, like I said, this is a mobile game and because of touchscreen limitations, this game features an auto fire option as default. I myself and many other controller users disabled this auto fire thinking it would hinder the way we would aim by firing too early when leading on shots while sniping or just not firing at the right moment. But the other day, I finally turned on auto fire to use it with controller and the results were absolutely insane. While on a road trip in a car on data, I played four games with auto fire on and controller support. Out of those four games, I won three of them and lost a top five game. Auto fire needs to be on guys. Not only does the game properly fire a bullet accurately to the target when it's led on, but it keeps your reticle and gun sight pinned to the target like an extra aim assist on top of what it already has. The AI behind this is something seriously advanced. I mean, look at these shots I'm now landing as I'm sniping with auto fire turned on. By the way, my 4X and 8X scopes for me are incredibly bugged. My phone does not have crosshairs for them, which sucks. This is a bug on the Samsung Fold 2 big screen. The smaller screen does not have this issue, but I do hope this can get fixed eventually. I've already reported this to the devs. But the auto fire red circle that shows up and lets us know we're about to shoot a shot helps me out tremendously because it shows where the shot is going to be going. Auto fire is an absolute game changer and you need to have it on whether you are playing with touchscreen or controller support. All you have to do is keep the right stick and camera on the target and the shots will land consistently depending on your aim still of course. Here are my current settings of how I have the controller and camera set up. Now general sensitivity, I know most people keep this higher up for melee control but truthfully you're going to want to lower this down a bit because hip firing with auto fire is absolutely the meta right now. The bullet tracking is unreal and you'll land more headshots when using hip fire at closer ranges. I can't stress this enough, but fire sensitivity, you're going to want to have this in the 100 range. This is what causes the auto fire to function. You could play around with this a little bit to fit your style, but I find around 100 to be solid for me. Single fire weapons will spray pretty quickly with this option too. All you have to do is focus on keeping the target in line with your reticle. One other very important tip is that only 22.4% of people that watch and love these videos are currently subscribed. So subscribe today so you don't miss out on any more important guides, tips, and highlight videos. We're going to be releasing our stream highlight episodes regularly and you don't want to miss out on all the action. Join the channel today and hit the notification bell guys, it's completely free. No, but seriously, the final important tip about this is that I recommend turning auto fire off for monsters. This way, if you are running to a destination, your gun won't automatically track and aim to fire at monsters on the map, which will absolutely happen a lot more often than you guys think. This will keep you hidden when traversing the map or sneaking up on an enemy. And that wraps it up for this video, guys. Final Fantasy VII The First Soldier needs auto fire on. The game completely functions differently with it, and I can't stress this enough. Share this video with everyone you know who is playing or has stopped playing it because it felt a little bit weird. This seriously is a game changer and is the ultimate way to play this game. I could have kept this a secret and abused it myself, but ultimately I want everyone to enjoy this game like I do and have a blast while playing it. 
So good luck on your matches, and I'll see you guys online. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you are new. More Final Fantasy videos are coming your way, and you won't want to miss them. My name is Blitz, and thanks for watching.